Oh God. It's mostly inside me, but uh, outside of me, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 made me cry almost. But it was good. <laughs>
it did. And I personally thought that was a very dick move that Disney made to kick him out of and get him back in production. They did, however, work on principal photography and post-production right after the pandemic. But generally, it was a very screwed up situation that a crew member of this movie got into. It just kind of disgusts me when I think about it. But regardless, I still enjoy the movie, and it is something that just ended the movie series perfectly. I can't even wait to see what Marvel is going to do next, because they actually teased a Star-Lord spinoff, which I'm kind of eager about. Even if it's a movie that kind of had a twisted audience rating, I'm going to give Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 a 4.5 out of 5, or maybe an 8.5 out of 10. Like overall, I thought it was somewhat better than the second movie, but I also find it as good as the first movie. And even though I wasn't into Guardians of the Galaxy until I was 16, I still had a lot of fun watching it. And lastly, since the movie is out now, I recommend seeing it while it's out. You'll have a good time going through this emotional boomerang as I did. So uh, that'll do it with my review on every Guardians of the Galaxy film. And also thank you for not only watching Byron's bios, but also my review of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, and also in the next movie review. Until then, this is your boy Byron, signing off. Triple peace.